Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I think I'll replace those. This isn't perfect, but it certainly does a very nice job in getting rid of some of these top surface rust spots. Obviously for something like this, it's just not gonna go deep enough and it's actually too badly damaged. You can come back and do another application as well afterwards. I'm trying not to be too hard on this because it, it will scratch even though it's like a paste. The idea is just to get it nice and clean. Try not to press too hard because it can tarnish the chrome. It will wear it off. I have tried the aluminum foil by the way, the aluminium foil trick. I've tried it with water, I've tried it with warm soapy water. I think I've even tried it with Coca-Cola as well. And it does work quite well. Um, you've got to be really careful though. I know everyone says, or a lot of guys say that it doesn't scratch at all. It, it actually does if you're not careful. And so I've, I've learned the tough way on a couple of things that it will actually scratch if you're not careful. This doesn't scratch as much. You've got to be quite careful, but um, it's certainly not as abrasive as the as the tin foil. I think you just need one crease to catch something, and it will scratch with the foil. try some heavy duty oven cleaner to see if we can get rid of some of this deep grime here. This is 30 minutes later.
Thanks for your advice guys. I'm going to remove this oil tank just so I can clean it thoroughly inside and then refit it. Uh, just going to get rid of any remaining oil that's in the tank. I think it's about up to there. I just looked through and saw that there's a little bit left. So just remove this drain plug first of all. Just going to start by removing the oil feed and return pipes. Here I'm just removing the mounting bolts and I can see traces of what probably was the original colour under here. The flamboyant red I think it is for the super rocket of this year. This nut here on this retaining bolt was actually loose. Well, that's chewed up a little bit. I'm really enjoying this. Um, as you can see, I'm getting further and deeper into the bike. It's just amazing how many pieces there are. Lots and lots of nooks and crannies and lots of crossbars here as well. I think I counted eight. And then I've moved the oil pipes out of the way just so I can get inside and do more cleaning, more deep cleaning. But everything's looking great. I've um, identified a few parts, like some grommets, for example, that I'm going to replace. Uh, but overall, the bike's really clean underneath. Um, some of these frame pieces, they're like new, actually. And so, again, lots of nooks and crannies to clean inside and out as I move forward towards the front of the bike. Again, what I'm doing, I'm removing some of these pieces but I'm only cleaning them. I'm not buffing them up. I'm not polishing. Well, maybe apart from the muffler and the rear wheel. But other than that, I'm just giving them a clean with WD-40 and then wiping them off. 